Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Regina. In today's video, I'm gonna be decorating our entryway with a little bit of summer decor and everyday decor. I have to make it functional for us. I would like to give a big thanks to anyone that stops by my channel and watches my videos. I truly appreciate it. I'm almost at 800 subscribers. My goal is to get a thousand. So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below because that really, really helps out my channel and it lets me know that you guys are watching them. Thank you very much. I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get to it, okay? So this is the entryway. I already went ahead and I flipped the mirror this way because I had it standing up. Clear everything out right here and I also took off what I had right here. So I'm gonna be putting something else here. But I'm going to be decorating this area. I went ahead and I stained this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just rehang it where I originally had it. I like it better that color. My thought process is that I found this beautiful art. It's by this artist right here. That's her right there. I found it at Home Goods, and it was $29. My thoughts are to hang it over right here. Now that I have this going on right here, I'm gonna try to match the green up there. So I'm gonna start off with my basket. I love this basket. It's one of my favorites. And then I'm gonna be using green eucalyptus with the other, you know, more muted colors. These I have found at the Dollar Tree a while back. I really like these. It's gonna match with the green in the frame. And I'm also going to put some of these. They're just, you know, floral, like baby's breath from Hobby Lobby. All of these. They were 99 cents and I got them when they were 40% off in the bridal area. So I'm just gonna stick them in here. Just gonna go ahead and put what I previously had there. This um, plant mister, I believe that's what it's called. I have found this one at was it Goodwill? I believe it was in Goodwill. I found it. I paid like three bucks for it. Just gonna hang it here. And then this little broom piece, the bottom room piece. I don't even know what you call this. Just tied the little bowl on there and I'm gonna hang it on the opposite side. So now 
on this side, I want to go ahead and brighten it up a little more since my other side was a little more muted down. I'm going to start off with these two books right here with this brown one. And then this one is more like a tan color. These are very, very nice books. I really like it. That, oh, I love all of that right there, especially like the way they decorate with the bases. The next thing I'm gonna put here is this big, beautiful vase that I got at TJ Maxx. And I actually went ahead and got it for $24. So huge. I like how big it is. Inside, I want to go ahead and finally use all the floral that I found. Can you call them cherry blossoms? I'm not 100% sure. But I found these for $10 a piece at Home Goods. And I'm going to pair it with this greenery, I wish they would give us the name of what they are. Just this green stems from Hobby Lobby. I got these when they were 50% off. I like this side of the entry area to have like a statement piece. If I have to go ahead and make them go a little more lower, I'll bend them a piece they do come out far. I have to bend them a tad bit. I'm not a big fan of cutting none of my stems because I like to move them around. Yeah, I like that height. I like that height better. Statement piece. I like statement pieces when it comes to floral. I like them full too. DIY a few videos ago that I found also at Goodwill. I actually paid $10 for this lamp and I DIY'd it twice. First it was gray and then I went back with this mocha color. Right behind it I'm gonna go ahead and put this little stand. I got it at Goodwill for three bucks. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this beautiful frame. I did the copper rough and buff on it. It used to be gray and the picture from the inside is from Etsy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place it right behind here. The light colors that I have on the opposite side, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right beside. What do you guys think? Mm, too much. For the middle part, I always have a little bit of a hard time seeing what I'm gonna put here. 
could realistically, I want to come in and be able to put the keys. Let me see. This kind of not done. I want to be able to come in and put our keys because this is the reason why this is all banged up already because my husband comes in and lays his keys directly on my table. So I was thinking of putting another brown book. So then to complement the brown and the brown, I'm gonna put it this way and I'm going to add my bowl from threshold. So like that when you come in, you can put the keys on there. Maybe it's a lot of brown, but I realistically need to have something to be able to put our keys when we walk in. I feel like this area is still missing something. Since it's very narrow right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my trumpet candle holders. It might look a little weird, but I feel like I need to balance, balance it out some kind of way. And since it's so narrow, I don't have anything to place here. I'm gonna try that for now. I'm not gonna put candles because you can't light candles here. To balance out the copper and that. And then this was still missing something. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this gold frame with the little bluebird. We have a lot of these bluebirds where I live to complement the cherry blossoms in the vase. I don't wanna overdo it, because realistically, we put stuff here when we leave and come out the door. I think I'm gonna leave that for now. Well, you see that I have this tiny little spot right here. I do wanna put my little old man praying I want to put it somewhere in the entrance of the house. I think this is like the perfect spot for it. Like that. It might look weird, but I'm gonna roll with it. As much as I want to put a basket here, that doesn't work for us. For him to put his boots when he comes in. This beautiful runner is actually from Walmart. This was $40 and I put it more this way. It is from the Better Home and Garden line, the runner, $40 from Walmart. And I put this little grippy things here so it won't slide back and forth. 